Welcome to Physics at Kent. This is the Ingraven Building. Originally built back in the 60s for chemistry, it now harbors all types of scientists, from physics to forensics to biosciences. It's only a 15 minute walk down to the beautiful city of Canterbury, and it's a short drive down to the coastal town of Whitstable, if you ever need a break from university life. This is the Ingram foyer. It's a great student resource. During term time, the reception desk is open daily, and they can answer any questions you have about your course or at least point you in the direction of someone who can. This was the first lab that I stepped into on my first day as a student here at Kent. Throughout stage one, you are given experiments that allow you to familiarize yourself with equipment and the requirements of university level labs. One of these early experiments is really just to introduce you to test equipment. You are given a lab script with the aims and clear instructions on how to use the equipment. In this experiment, you're given a signal generator, oscilloscope, a multimeter, so you can learn how to quantify a circuit. Moving on throughout the year, you eventually move to learn about probability. Probability is another huge part of the physics world. Within this experiment, students use a Dalton board to understand the physical representation of the normal distribution. Moving on from that, they then look at the digital representation of that through this box that contains an Arduino. Moving on, for students that do already have a strong background with science and maths, we look at the tensile stress experiment here. This experiment allows them to test out principles they have already learned in lectures. This is lab four. Throughout stages two and three, students will complete both group work and lab experiments here. Throughout stage two, students are required to replicate famous experiments done by physicists over the years. Here we have Millikan's oil drop experiment. This experiment allowed us to gain the value of the elementary charge by looking at the way the particles interact with gravity inside the capacitor plates. Finally, gyroscopes are an important part of most technology today. They can be found in your phone or on satellites, here they are blown up on a large scale to help build an understanding of angular frequency and momentum. This is the new study space built specifically for science students here at Kent. It is also the home of our support team. This is the Beacon Observatory. It is used by the Centre for Planetary Sciences, both lecturers and postgraduate students, to conduct research on the stars. During stages two and three, students can volunteer for stargazing nights here. This smaller observatory is used by the Student Society Space SOC. Once students have received their training from the Society, they are able to access this telescope at their leisure. And that's the tour of physics at Kent. I hope it gave you some great insight into what it's like to study here.